Hi all, hope everyone's alright. First video of 2024. And I thought I'd just show what I've been up to. Um, still in the process of putting a lock sound V5 decoder in that. So that's what I'm going to do with that and speaker. Still got to order the parts for that, but I'm not ordering the parts until I find out what other bits I need. So that's that. I picked up a couple of these second hand beauty for Prussian coaches. The three axle, absolutely stunning. These are extremely rare to come by on eBay. They only come up now and again, once every other year, uh, especially in the UK, but this one's mint condition. And they've got articulated centre axle that moves around. It's, they're just beautiful. The, the detail on them is absolutely stunning. So I've got uh, I picked up another passenger coach and a crew coach as well, which again is it's also stunning. And these go those sets. Sorry, those coaches go with these two sets. These two Prussian sets I've got. Which again are absolutely beautiful. I've had this one quite a few years. It's absolutely stunning. These run from about 1880 to 1920. This particular type of train I think. And again they're just beautiful. The way the windows are all you know, in different position. All the detailing of the, the brass work on the locos. So I've got another coach to go with this set. Plus I've got another two more coaches in storage as well. And I've got the, uh, this other set is a two, uh, two axled version of the train. Slightly different coaches, slightly shorter coaches. And obviously you've got a different loco there. These have been digitally converted uh, before when I got them by someone else. And they've been done really well, they've run really well. So that, that's that. And... Also in the process of repairing the Fleischmann uh, double slip points. And I've been humming and ahhing about how to do this for ages. So uh, anyway, I've done a, a test on one of the, uh, one side of the double slip. And I made a cast, cast it up using the coffee sticks and carefully put a two part resin in, which is this, this is the stuff product I used. It's called Tanax. They make this in loads of different colours. I use it at work because I repair marble uh, for a living. That's one of the uh, surfaces I repair. And I use this product in many different ways but this particular one comes in black and you mix it up and when you've mixed it up it, it's, it basically it's really really tough it, it's like plastic it's really really tough this stuff and it sticks to virtually anything so I mean to buy that I mean it's like one litre I think it's a five one no one litre tub that for the modeler for the average model it's really uh, not worth buying one they're about Unless you're going to use loads of it, they're about £20 I think for one litre tub. But it lasts a long time, you can use it in various other repairs in other areas as well. It's like two part car body filler but much better. So I made a cast and these are the tools I used to manipulate it into the joints, carefully into the cast. And I used a, I think it's a 30 degree blade. To sort of carve it away, an offler knife. This is a really highly specialised knife, Japanese um, technology blade system. But these are really, really good. In fact, it's got Japan written on the back of it there. Well, you can see that. I highly recommend these. These knives are really good. They've got a 45 degree angle version in there. I think this. I think it's a 30, I'm not 100% sure what that is. But I cleaned all the uh, double slips up first using 
small screwdrivers etc and uh, obviously a toothbrush to clean up first with a, whatever fluid you want to clean up the track work with made a casting and it's worked it's worked quite nice you can see one side where I've done there on the lower section and then top section you can see where it's worn away completely so yeah really happy with that because what was happening um, was the trains are uh, dipping over the points I'll just run this one forward a minute You can see the wagons dipping on one side and that's the side where I've not done. So this process and this method is working because I know that will hold in place. And uh, yeah I'll show a couple of pictures of that but I'm really happy with the way uh, that's turning out. So that means I can just do, I've got one more, hang on I've got one, two three four double slips there and I think I've got another one as well over there but that's not as bad because that don't get used as much I mean really speaking you shouldn't have double slips on a main line the track system is totally unrealistic on this layout but it's just they're just there to make as many movement train movements as possible in many many different routes having double slips and that's why uh I've got them on the main lines really on that big junction. But other than that, um, I think that's about it. I've been repairing various little track errors and points, uh, point problems where I've had to replace the points and other little problems on various areas. But other than that, that's it. That's all I've been uh, up to on the layout. So, quick video and again. Thanks for watching, hope everyone's well.